You may have seen the sugarcane aphid in your field across Oklahoma. And Tom, let's start with what are sugarcane aphids? Sugarcane aphid is a, a pest that we've seen since about 2013 mm -hmm. that has come in and started really attacking sorghum throughout the southeast uh, into Texas, the Gulf Coast, and it gets up into Oklahoma uh, it, it, for the last three years too. And it uh, can cause some serious, when it gets going and gets built up, it can cause some serious yield loss and, and harvest problems both. It, it basically eats the leaf? Is, is, is that where the problem is? They, they uh, have sucking mouth parts, so they, they're sucking plant juices right. and they feed on the leaf. And as they're sucking the juices, they process them out the other end uh -oh. and they drop honeydew on the leaves below them, which uh, also causes problems with sooty mold and things like that building up on some of the leaves. Uh, but the biggest problem with this aphid is that it, it uh, has a huge reproductive capacity and so a producer can go out and maybe see a few one day and come back a week later and there's a lot of them out there they build up really quickly uh, so um, I really encourage growers to be watching pretty carefully in their fields especially as as their sorghums coming out becoming heading mm -hmm. and all the way into uh, just before harvest they can be a problem seems like in years past you've, you've talked about a, a large swath of them moving through Oklahoma. Is, is that the case this year? It's not. Uh, what we found this year is that they're more spotty. Mm -hmm. We don't exactly know why. We think maybe some of the early rains we had have dampened them. We didn't see buildup of populations down on the Texas Gulf Coast as early as we did this year. So uh, we're, we're kind of seeing them slowly move north. Um, and when I look in Oklahoma sorghum fields, they're very spotty there. Sometimes I'll find them, they might jump counties and you'll find them in one county and you might not find them in others. And then you go to some no, uh, counties farther north and you'll find them again. So what, what are some of the things that producers can do now uh, to get ahead of the sugar cane? Well, definitely be watching their sorghum uh, on a regular basis. Uh, one of the telltale signs of a sugarcane aphid infestation is that because all that honeydew, they're dropping that honeydew on the leaves right below them. They feed on the underside of the leaf and okay. they drop that honeydew on the leaves right below them. So if you walk out in the field and you see some, some uh, leaves that look like they've been varnished, mm -hmm. sl you know, slick, really shiny varnish, that's a telltale sign that you've got uh, sugarcane aphid. And if you grab the leaf above that, you'll probably find a pretty good sized colony because they, they just drop a lot, a lot of that honeydew. So while producers are out in their field checking for that, there's also some other insects that they should be watching for. Yeah, this is the time of year we've seen flights of fall armyworm and, and uh, um, corn earworms. So I, I would encourage growers to go out and sample their fields for headworms too. Uh, but time, from the time of flowering until uh, soft dough stage, when uh, the sorghum gets past so soft dough, um, they're vulnerable to headworm damage. Okay, thank you much, Tom. And for a link to some of the information about what we talked about today, including some fact sheets and some news releases, you can go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.